if we talk about integration setup, um, I would say that integration is a number one trend right now in the software industry. Everyone wants to be every, uh, connected. And uh, if we talk about if we talk about integration, um, Rigor has a very uh, robust um, integration uh, with different uh, uh, systems. Um, uh, for example, uh, Microsoft Office integration with Excel and QuickBook, uh, Outlook. Uh, so uh, Excel we use to import data, export data, and export reports. Uh, accounting integration uh, uh, with uh, most common uh, Sage and uh, QuickBooks uh, uh, to export purchase invoices, sales invoices, rental invoices, credit memo. And uh, with QuickBooks Online, we have two-way integration. It means that we can uh, take data from QuickBooks and uh, re uh, reverse uh, uh, send data to QuickBooks as well. Uh, email and uh, map uh, uh, give us an opportunity to do the um, email notification and reporting and uh, uh, geo reports uh, give us an opportunity to integrate with Google Maps and uh, place our uh, equipment to and show the, all the jobs in, in the Google Maps. And another uh, big uh, point, uh, it will be e-invoicing integration. Uh, through Android Invoice, uh, we connect with uh, Oildex and Cortex, and we can send sales invoices, uh, rental invoices uh, with attachments. Uh, the integration requirements, uh, if uh, we talk about uh, integrate rigor with different systems, uh, we need to understand uh, the document flow and if any information flow uh, could be between systems. Say, for example, uh, we have... Uh, uh, understanding how the information will flow from rigor to other systems and how the uh, information will flow from other systems to rigor. So uh, it should be uh, some sort of uh, um, exchange of the information. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we uh, explore the technical ability of the system. Uh, so if it's system open or close, if they have API, and the ability to import data because sometimes uh, some of the system they told yeah we we have uh, an open uh, api however the api can be limited by particular fields and we can couldn't uh, transfer uh, uh, specific information from rigor for example if we talk about um, a traditional accounting system they have no start and end date of the uh, service and in rigor invoices for rental purposes, we have start and end date. And uh, in this case, this information should be uh, transferred to uh, a different uh, uh, field, say for example, comment, and um, convert it to the, to the text format and add it there. So how the integration setup uh, looks like in rigor. Uh, we select integration method because uh, for some uh, application we have different methods depending on what kind of uh, technical requirements we have and what kind of limitations we have. In a, after that, uh, we do a mapping items and accounts. It could be item by item, say for example, item in rigor and item in QuickBooks. Uh, then uh, it could be uh, another approach, it could be uh, one to one and one to many. Uh, uh, where we can connect one item in uh, uh, QuickBooks uh, with many items in Rigor. And uh, uh, then we set up department and classes uh, to understand the analytics of uh, transactions and uh, have uh, uh, this um, separated uh, in every single uh, invoice or in, in, in every single line. Uh, the next, uh, uh, we set up bridge or install drivers, depending on what kind of technical solution we have. Uh, make a test run, and uh, uh, after that, uh, if everything works fine, we have daily, weekly export data. Uh, and export data uh, frequency really depends on uh, company needs.